The Raspberry Pi is a mini computer of many purposes, and one of those is the ability to use it as a wireless access point, boosting Wi-Fi signal in an area where it may otherwise be a bit choppy. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here's how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a wireless access point. Are you looking to create multiple access points throughout your home without any of the latency and connectivity issues typically associated with using a Wi-Fi extender? In this video, you'll learn how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a wireless access point. Once your wireless access point is up and running, anyone who has the password will be able to connect your Raspberry Pi as though it's a mini router. Ideal for everyone, from cafe owners who want to offer their customers complimentary Wi-Fi, to employers who need to create a private network for their employees, or even someone who just likes the idea of having multiple Wi-Fi networks at home. What you'll need. To complete this tutorial, you'll need Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 that's running Raspbian. If you don't have the current Raspbian, grab the latest version and flash it using Etcher, link in the description. Power cable that's compatible with your Raspberry Pi, of course. External keyboard and a way to attach it to your Raspberry Pi. HDMI or micro HDMI cable external monitor, and an Ethernet cable. Since you're turning your Raspberry Pi into a wireless access point, you'll need to connect over Ethernet rather than Wi-Fi. This also means it won't work with the Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi 0, since they are missing either the Ethernet port or the wireless card. Once you've assembled your tools, it's time to create your own Wi-Fi hotspot. Getting started, set up your Raspberry Pi. To start, connect all the peripherals to your Raspberry Pi, including the Ethernet cable. Once your Raspberry Pi has booted, it's a good idea to check that you're running the latest version of Raspbian. So launch a terminal by clicking the little terminal icon in the toolbar. Type the following command, sudo apt-get update. Press enter on the keyboard and wait for the command to execute. Type the next command and press enter once again, sudo apt-get upgrade. After the upgrade, it's best to reboot your Raspberry Pi for any system changes to take effect. Run the following command, reboot. Install host APD, DNS mask, and firewall plugins. Install the host APD or host access point daemon, which is a software package that can transform network interface cards into access points. To install host APD on your Raspberry Pi, open a terminal and run the following command. sudo apt install host APD. Enable the wireless access point and set it to launch automatically at startup by entering sudo systemctl unmask host APD and sudo systemctl enable host apd. Next, install DNS mask, which provides a domain name system caching and a dynamic host configuration protocol, or DHCP, that's designed for small networks. To install this software package, run the following command in the terminal, sudo apt install DNS mask. Finally, install Netfilter Persistent and the IP Tables Persistent plugins, which will be responsible for saving and loading the firewall rules on your Raspberry Pi. As with all long, complicated commands, this will be in the description for you to cut and paste where appropriate. Assign a static IP address. The Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol Server, or DHCP, requires a static IP address. So in this section, you'll configure a static IP for your Raspberry Pi. To start, run the following command in the terminal, sudo nano slash etc slash dhcpcd.conf. Raspbian will open the configuration file for dhcpcd. Scroll to the bottom of this file and add the following lines. These will be available to cut and paste in the description. Save your changes by pressing Control O, followed by Enter, followed by Control X to quit nano. Enable routing. Your Raspberry Pi access point is now running its own standalone wireless network. However, if you want to allow clients to access computers on your Ethernet network, then you'll need to enable routing. To enable routing, create a routed-ap.conf file using the following command. sudo nano slash etc slash sysctl.d slash routed-ap.conf. This creates a rooted ap.conf file and opens it for editing in the nano text editor. In the nano text editor, type the following command net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals one. Save your changes by pressing Ctrl O, followed by the Enter key, followed by Ctrl X to quit nano. Now you can add a new firewall rule to your Raspberry Pi by running the following command 
sudo ip tables dash t nat dash capital a post routing dash o eth dash j masquerade finally use the netfilter persistent to ensure your new rule gets loaded at startup sudo netfilter dash persistent save configure your dhcp and dns services the DNS mask package provides a default configuration file, but we don't need all the options included in this file. To make things easier, rename DNS masks default configuration file and create a replacement file that's completely empty. Then open this new DNS mask conf file in the nano text editor and add only the configuration options we actually need. To do this, run the following terminal commands, sudo mv slash etc slash DNS mask dot conf slash etc slash dns mask dot conf dot orig o r i g and now sudo nano slash etc slash dns mask dot conf to open the file in nano add the following configuration options this will be available in the description for you to cut and paste save your changes by pressing ctrl o followed by the enter key followed by ctrl x to quit Nano. Create a network name and password. Now you have to configure your wireless access point by editing the host apd configuration file. To open this file for editing, run the following command sudo nano slash etc slash host apd slash host apd dot conf. Here you can add some information about your wireless access point, including giving it a name and securing it with a password. To help protect your access point, your password should be eight characters or more and feature a mix of letters, numbers and symbols. The example we give here creates an access point called network name with a password of passphrase passphrase, but you can make sure to use something more secure for your own network by changing these. In fact, I changed mine to Raspberry Wi-Fi with a password of monkey fighting snakes 67 and why not? Save your changes by pressing Ctrl O followed by Enter followed by Ctrl X to quit Nano. Connect your wireless access point. Congratulations, you've successfully turned your Raspberry Pi into a wireless access point. To verify that everything is working correctly, it's a good idea to restart your Raspberry Pi and check that you can connect to your access point following this reboot. Once your Raspberry Pi is rebooted, grab any Wi-Fi enabled device, a telephone, a computer, game console, whatever, <laughs> and scan for any nearby wireless networks. You should see a network that has the name that you specified in your Raspberry Pi's host apd.conf file. Try to connect to this network and you'll be prompted for a password. Enter the passphrase from your host apd.conf file that you set and after a few moments you should be successfully connected to your wireless access point. Now you can surf the internet on your Wi-Fi enabled device as though it was directly connected to your router. In this tutorial you learned how to turn a Raspberry Pi into a wireless access point and now you can connect to this access point using any Wi-Fi enabled device and give third parties access to your network without sharing your actual router's password. That's a very good use for this project. In addition you can also turn your Raspberry Pi into a Chromecast or stream Spotify from it. So don't forget to check out our other Raspberry Pi projects on our Raspberry Pi page on the blog for more of these fantastic Raspberry Pi projects. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.